over all the What's time. going on, DRMB, in the works? And it's been a while since I've posted anything on here, but, yeah. you know, there's something that I've been really struggling with lately, and uh, that's been Mapathy. I've really just been underwhelmed by Battlefield 3's maps, and um, it's really been affecting my playstyle. And, you know, with P Project PTFO yeah, on does. the horizon, I really need to get in the swing of things because... Uh, it's been it's been hard to uh, to get back into the uh, to the groove of being able to actually aim with any precision in Battlefield 3 because um, you know I started on Xbox um, at least on Battlefield wise but I hadn't played PC games in the better part of like four or five years before I picked up uh, I started playing PC games again right before the Battlefield 3 beta um, you know I started on both platforms I started on Xbox and um, PC so I am pretty familiar with both sides of the ball and um, about November December I decided to switch my main platform basically the PC because you know obvious reasons I felt like the PC version was better which you know my opinion it is you know you, you may disagree but I just felt like it was a more complete well-rounded Battlefield 3 experience and um, there was a lot of growing pains in that transition let me tell you like um, PC players who have played for years have the aim that feels like they're just like Superman or something like they can see you through walls and a lot of people are like oh those are hacks no you know people just sometimes can aim that well and um, the transition was a little bit rocky at first and I, I from the beginning I decided I was like alright you know what I am not going to give up I'm gonna just keep trucking and it helped a lot that I played in the beta because a lot of people in the beta were also pretty pretty bad so it helped you know the kind of uh, kind of helped the learning curve on, on the great scheme of things but um, going back to Xbox after playing PC for so long was really really difficult for me because I'm like man this just feels so much different because um, I'm used to playing between like you know like 70 80 90 frames per second versus the um, the standard uh, 30 or 29 point you know what is it 9 2 or whatever that's on the uh, the console so um, it, it was difficult for me to to kind of adjust going back and forth so I eventually just stopped playing on Xbox but um, you know the point of this was I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about the tips and tricks on you know really making the transition from console to PC because a lot of people ask me on my channel it's like hey you know how did you make the transition what are some tips you know what's a good computer and honestly if you're starting out if you want to go from console to PC um, don't stress out about having the best rig ever, you know, the best system that you could possibly build. You know, Battlefield 3 will run on a lot of graphics cards. Like, I run it on a 6870, which is not top of the line. It's pretty middle of the road. It's like, I think it's between like 150 to $200. I don't know what it is now. I mean, when I bought it, it was. So, um, it's a pretty cheap card. So, if you, you know, if you make a, like an i5 with like a cheap middle of the road oh, card, cool. it'll help you kind of justify the transition. I mean, obviously, if you've got the money and you want to go big, go big. But um, don't go big right out of the gate if you don't even know that you're going to eventually like PC gaming. Because I've seen so many people that I've talked to about it, you know, they, they come to me, they're like, hey, I want to do this. I want to make the transition. Uh, they, they build their computer. They play it for maybe a month, and after that, they're back on console just because they're more used to it. So you really have to be able to commit to it. Like, uh, if you don't think that you're going to, if you're bad at making commitments, you're bad at trying to practice at something and get better, the transition is going to be a lot harder. Because let me tell you guys, you're going to get your butt kicked for the first, you know, month to even maybe two months. It, it's really kind of hard to, uh, <laughs> to to judge how long it's going to take you because everybody adjusts differently, but. For the most part, you just have to keep trucking, and it'll come to you eventually. Like, my aim is not very good at all. Like, I'll be the first to tell you that. Like, oftentimes I find myself trying to track people, and it's a little bit harder for me to judge. Like, some days I'm better than others. It really just depends on uh, what, what kind of mood I'm in, I guess. I guess. But um, for the most part, your aim will come with time. I mean, that's just something that you get used to. You know, the muscle memory builds up in your hand. But it is not impossible, guys. Um, I think it helps if you've grown up with computers, obviously you're used to a mouse, but it's a weird transition to kind of think about um, adding the mouse as, you know, the moving around and moving your gun. It's kind of weird going from console to PC, so um, just keep trying and it'll eventually come with time, I promise. Uh, but another oh, yeah. another tip that I, I will give you guys, but while a lot of people might disagree with this, I mean, it's really up in the air. If you disagree with it, I mean, that's just your opinion. But I found that when I was learning to use the PC, it was a lot easier to start with toggle aim down sights. So when you click right mouse, it will, you know, it'll stay aim down sights until you click it, click it again. And, you know, you're looking at this, you're like, oh, that sounds horrible. And especially if you're an advanced PC player, you're like, oh, that sounds horrible. 
Well, I used Toggle up until about a month ago and I finally weaned myself off of it and I found it was a lot easier to start with Toggle um, just because it helps you aim a little bit more. It seems to be easier to adjust going from using a controller to a mouse when you have the toggle aim down sight because with the controller it's no big big deal just to sit there and hold the right trigger as you aim whereas with a mouse it's a little bit more tricky just because of the way your hand has to kind of contort to hold it um, so it does take time I found that if you start with that and you kind of wean yourself off of it you do tend to uh, have better results that's just my personal experience I mean some of you guys PC guys might disagree um, honestly, I use toggle aim down sights on other games as well. I mean, Battlefield, I found it's a little bit more advantageous just to have it on normal aim down sights. So um, that's one of the tips I can give you guys. But other than that, um, if you're if you're on the fence about it, I would definitely do it. Battlefield is such a better game, at least from my standpoint on the PC. Um, I'm not saying it's bad on Xbox or PS3. I mean, I played it on both. It's it's still fun on both. But I think if you want to get the core, you know, Battlefield feel. You can definitely try it out on PC. I mean, I'm not an elitist. I think all consoles and PC should be equal, you know, equal rights. But, you know, if you're if you're looking to make the transition, it's not as hard as people think. You just have to be willing to, you know, have that growing time, that period of get, going 6 and 20 and getting yelled at by people in the chat for not playing the objective just because, you, you know, you can't get to the objective. So... Um, there are some growing pains, but if you keep on trucking, I, I am confident that everyone could be a PC gamer if they really put their mind to it. But I will see you guys next time. If you want to see more Battlefield 3 content over on my channel, come check me out, and I will see you guys later. Peace. 37 and 2.